you saw the H1N1 uh, interview with, uh, uh, with a whole piece on it on 60 Minutes and then with Fauci uh, back in 2005. What's your take on that? Is this guy the, the ultimate alarmist or what? What a fantastic thing you dug up. And I urge all people that watch us today, go to YouTube. Find the 60 minute story. You did great work, Kent, in finding this. It's from 2005. It's an interview with a bunch of experts from the WHO, the World Health Organization. And at the end, it's Steve Croft of 60 Minutes interviewing Dr. Fauci. This is from 2005. And in that interview, they're talking about the H5N1 bird flu. Okay? which at the time, get this, had infected worldwide 100 people. You heard me, 100. And it killed half of them, mostly in Cambodia and a few in China. Incredible. Based on and that. They, and they spent $7 billion, by the way, with a bunch of cronies, mostly pharmaceutical companies, a bunch of these uh, folks who make a fortune off of these things, $7 billion. They had a worldwide response in advance to a disease that never happened. There was no pandemic. And they talked about, on camera, I really want your people to see this. This is such a good find by you. Actually, I'll tell you what, if you, if you don't mind, Barry, uh, share this link on your show as well. Share that link w uh, to the 2005 H1N1 thing, and you'll see how this thing works. You will see an absolute pattern, and you'll see a lot of the same faces. The same faces making the same speech. They just have more gray hair now, but they're scaring the crap out of people today like they did in 2005 for a disease that never happened. And they said, if it does happen, and if it does get into the population, it could be as great as the pandemic of 1918, when 50 million people died. Well, on that show, it wasn't 50 million, it was 50. Absolutely incredible. 50 people, by the way, 50 people.